Where have you brought me, George? <laughs> Honestly, well, we just drove down this long, winding, unpopulated road to exactly. nowhere. Yeah. Where are we? It's a uh, nice little ride to get here. Uh, we're about 35 minutes from the campground, and we're going to do a hike uh, while it's not raining or 113 <laughs> degrees outside. And it's working on it, though. It's starting to get warm, and it will be they're predicting thunderstorms this afternoon, so we're going to try to get this hike in while we can. We are doing the so Sogahidi, the Sogahogdi. I'll put a yeah, I'll put luck. a name down <laughs> below because I can't pronounce it. Sogahogdi Falls Trail. It's a so there's going to be a a falls. A, yeah, there's I a like falls. rewards. There's a couple of falls I think along the way, but uh, they said the big one is at the end. It's a three and a half mile out and back trail and uh, hopefully we'll see some nice stuff and no snakes and no snakes a yeah, we've been of, warned yes cousins have lived here before and um, yeah they keep mentioning these snakes mm. so I'm not too happy about this but we won't see any snakes <laughs> <laughs> but let's uh, let's right. take, hit the trail hit the trail let's do it We didn't get too far in when the path came to uh, three different directions. And there's no signal out here, so George downloaded the trail, right? Yeah, on all trails, so we'll be able to f tell if we're staying on track at least. I hope so. It doesn't give you turn by turn directions, but I think uh, this one's gonna be pretty simple. I think we're just gonna follow the trail that goes by the creek. Cause right here, you can see it goes three different ways and nothing is marked. Well, one of the comments on all trails said that it wasn't marked, but everybody says it's a great hike, so. Okay. There's not a lot of water in the creek, so I'm not if we're going to see much of a waterfall at the end. But we'll I don't know how there can't be a lot of water. It has been raining all week long. It's been pouring. Pouring, oh, yeah. yeah. But it's been hot, so maybe yeah. it's... I don't know. No. There should be water. <laughs> you would think there'd be water, but... Here you are. Probably slowly moving towards the creek. My favorite part of hikes is the sound. I love that, except for this bug buzzing in my ear. But you can even hear like rain from yesterday falling on the leaves, the birds, the insects, sometimes running water. I love the sound of a hike.
here, it's a little steep. The spring runoff through here must be something to see. So far, we've only been on the road for about a week and a half, I think. Maybe nine days, ten days. And uh, this is the longest stay so far. Uh, we spent eight, eight nights here at the Thousand Trails campground called Hidden Cove in Arley, Alabama. Kind of sorry now that we, we stayed so long because the weather has been so unforgiving. It's either uh, real field temperatures of 116 or horrible th thunderstorms. You can get a, a tornado warning, a lot of hail warnings. Uh, so it hasn't been a very relaxing eight days. We're constantly putting things away and then taking them back out again because there's a, a storm threatening. So we're uh, looking forward to getting a little further north uh, where the temperatures are a little bit more, uh, a little cooler, hopefully. And uh, there aren't so many threatening storms. Note to self, we're going to leave earlier next year. That's for sure. It's a little boring being inside the RV day after day. But um, trying to maintain attitude. <laughs> a highlight of yesterday was going to Walmart. You know what I mean? <laughs> At least today we're out hiking. Deep hill. It's the humidity it makes for lack of air. Yeah, the temperatures are probably in the high 70s right now, but humidity is probably around 90, 95 percent. It's it's humid. Our first major stop is going to be. In Gulf of Go uh, Gorge, it's in the Hot Springs National Park in Arkansas. And so far, the weather is predicted to be about the same as we're having here. High, high temperatures, a lot of humidity, lots of thunderstorms. So, it wasn't very wise of us to book Hot Springs in the summer. But yeah, we we're passing through and couldn't resist. Yeah. So. It's definitely one of those, gotta do it. Well, there's other things to see and do other than just the springs, so we'll, uh, we'll of course make the best of it. And uh, but hopefully we'll get a break or two. I, I would really like to, to visit the hot springs themselves. So we'll see how that works out. There isn't supposed to be much from here to there, but we're going to step out of our I want to say comfort zone, but it's more like interest. Um, and we're going to go to uh, Graceland. <laughs> it's along the way. And we thought, well, that'll be interesting. So that's not our style of music, but um, I think it would be fun to just, I, I love I love biographies and autobiographies. And so just to, uh, always interested in people and their past and how they got to where they went. And I think it'll be, I think it'll be worth the stop. Uh, I'm a fan. Are you? Yeah, Elvis was is the king of rock and roll. I mean, you could almost say without Elvis Presley, there probably wouldn't have been rock and roll. I think it would have eventually come, but I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I think it'll be interesting. He was a big influence, so. Yeah, for sure. But we'll. I'm kind of looking forward to that. We like we like history and you know, personal interest stories, that kind of thing. Yeah, so for sure. It'll be interesting to see. Well, we're about halfway there. 
the, the falls. And so far the trail has been really nice. Got a few downed trees that go across the trail that we just left there, I guess. I don't know why a lot of times so somebody will come in and cut those out of the way, but the left here, I guess it makes it interesting. Um, the trail itself is fairly wide in most places and uh, not too not too rocky so it's a pretty pretty nice hike so far <laughs> This is like one of those areas that I think there's snakes hiding underneath logs and stuff. I don't like these areas. I like to see my feet at all times, but it, just not gonna think about it. And I just always send George first. <laughs> I mean, seriously, they're under there. I go first, then I wake them up. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Ah! These are the kinds of rewards you like to see yeah. at the end of a hike. Yeah, it was it was a nice hike actually. It was it was just right, um, not too buggy. No, no buggy at and all. There's a light rain, but I'm kidding. It's not torrential downpours like we've been having, so we're happy. But look at that. That's, That's so pretty. It did not disappoint. No, no. I'm glad the water's flowing, and it really is a unique. Um, area. So that took us almost exactly two hours. Yeah, three and a half miles. Three and three quarter miles. Okay. Every quarter mile counts, George. Um, I had a caloric burn of 630 calories, and I can tell you that I can drink that or eat that really quickly. Yeah, a lot I quicker love than long. three. Yeah. Wow, it's <laughs> yeah. so it's hot. There was some elevation too, 400 feet of elevation yeah, gain. Not too bad. It was. It was it up was and good. down. Yeah, uh, but mostly it was just kind of a flat trail. Uh, very, I would rate it as an easy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with a great reward at the end. That waterfall was just uh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, so now we're trying to find our way out of here. We don't have any cell service. And uh, so I don't know. We Maybe are in the middle of nowhere, and we did something really dumb too. What? <clears throat> well, we were just probably quarter mile into the hike when George looks at me and says, yeah. "Did I lock the Jeep?" I don't remember locking the Jeep. And we just locked. decided. I said, "Ah, it's a ha habit that you've got. You must have locked the Jeep." Well, we got back and we hadn't locked the Jeep. And believe me, yeah. we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But hey, even our lunches were still here. 
we were driving down the road and I was just playing around with Google Maps and I noticed that there was a trail over here called uh, Natural Bridge Bankhead Forest Natural Bridge Trail yep. and I had read about it it's just a half mile but everyone says it's worth it and it's easy so we pulled over and here we are going on another, another hike, hike today <laughs> but it's not raining so we got to just get out and do yeah. what we can do so right. um, yeah it's actually turning out to be not a bad day it's yeah. warm but it's warm and it's muggy but that's okay. It's not Better raining. Than thunderstorms. And so. we're not inside the RV. <laughs> so I guess this is a twofer. We're going to do two yeah. hikes today. Yeah, yeah. This is a short one, but we'll just grab a bottle of water and hit the trail. Looks like we'll have the trail to ourselves because there's nobody else here in yeah, the parking lot. Yeah, the reviews lot. did say that, that you're not likely to uh, meet up with people. There aren't very many people in this town. We've come to a fork in the road. Which should we take? <laughs> It's not marked. I really, how hard is it to just put a trail marker? It's supposed to be a short hike, but it could turn into a long one with the wrong turn. I say we're going to go left. Yeah. Largest natural bridge. Is it really? East of the Mississippi, I think. Yeah, check that back. Oh, well, yeah, I'll definitely check it. <laughs> put a comment below. Oh, that was. So I guess that other that that trail to the right takes you to the lower the, part of the. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll go back down there. We'll check this out up here. <laughs> any stairs to get down there so that you can walk across the natural bridge so I, I suspect that that's going off trail so we'll just stay we'll just stay on the trail we're rule followers but for good uh, reason these things aren't permanent either I mean you can already see right here where it caved in yeah yeah I wouldn't would not want to be on it when it caved in <laughs> no yeah. Kind of adventure would you? Might take thousands of years for that to happen, but it would be my luck that I step out on there and it collapses. <laughs> There's some fine craftsmanship too in the stonework. I wonder when all this was done. I wonder how old this is. It's uh, very well done.
suspect that this was a much more popular place back in the day. That's doesn't, the picnic area. Doesn't look like it's been used much. But, uh, certainly a, mo a lot of money was spent in this place because uh, with the paved trail, some heavy duty picnic tables that they have scattered everywhere. But, uh, reason is it being used as much anymore. Not very densely populated here. That might be part of the problem. Not really a problem I guess. It's just I like to see things like this where somebody back in the day put a lot of effort into building up. I like to see that it's being used and now it's obvious it's not. Speaking of senses, this cool banana is going to taste so good. Yeah. Because we haven't eaten since six o'clock last night, and it's noon time. Yeah. So that was a uh, that was a nice hike. Mm -hmm. um, uh, hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, we'll, we'll see you later. This is so good. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell and hit that thumbs up.